Hello. Welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I am Angelia Joy. Thank you for joining me. The choices for the individualized oracle offering. Your choices equal your life. New growth. Grace. We are calling the Psychic Tarot Oracle as offered by John Holland as well as asking for supporting messages through the Psychic Tarot for the Heart also offered by John Holland. I will open with the invocation. You can, if you like, set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready and willing to understand. And so it is. The Psychic Tarot for the Heart. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready and willing to understand. And so it is. In the position of your choices equal your life, the Psychic Tarot Oracle offers number two, the Sacral Chakra. John Holland offers color orange, element water, key words I want. Known as the sacral chakra, the second chakra is located two fingers below your navel and relates to emotions, desires, creativity, and sexuality. To keep this chakra balanced and its energy flowing, try dancing moving your hips and lower abdomen, use a color meditation and practice yoga. Express your sexuality and nurture yourself and remember, you do matter. The Psychic Tarot for the Heart offers number four of emotions, Opportunity Beckons. John Holland offers keywords, boredom, disillusion, vis vigilance, action. Often affairs of the heart, be we become complacent, even bored with what you have. You forget to see the magic of your interactions with others and fail to invest time and effort to maintain the human loving link. If you've been looking for a relationship for some time without success, you may become disillusioned or even discouraged, no longer believing that a relationship will manifest. Your enthusiasm diminishes and you no longer provide the universe with the energy needed to produce the relationship. The same is true of struggling too long to improve an existing relationship. Now is not the time for complacency. This is your opportunity to attain what you've been seeking or to improve what you have. It requires vigilance, 
action, and enthusiasm. Lift your spirits and look for the opportunity that will present itself. Then act. In the position of new growth, the Psychic Tarot Oracle offers Number 8 of Mental Trapped in Fear John Holland offers This card reveals that it's actually your own fear that has you immobilized and trapped, preventing you from making decisions or choices. You are the one who's holding yourself prisoner or hostage. And in order to continue your journey, you must first face your fears so that new people and new conditions can manifest. Many individuals choose to stay in this place because they can't see the road ahead. They feel a misguided sense of safety there, or they're afraid to start something new. But staying will only add to your levels of stress and anxiety and create adverse effects in your physical body. Seek out wise counsel for assistance. You don't have to do this alone. But know that you possess all the tools that you need to free yourself. You're forgetting how strong you really are. This period will end when you use your mind to cut through the limitations caused by your emotions. And the Psychic Tarot for the Heart offers <clears throat> Number 18 of the Major Arcana Confront John Holland offers the key words Fear Question Explore Courage Illusion Clarity Introspection and clarity are important at this time. Feelings have lain dormant and are now coming to the surface. They have been part of your subconscious for some time. They're referred to as your shadow self and represent all of your fears and delusions regarding matters of the heart. You may have concerns about examining these issues, but know that when an issue rises to the surface, it's ready to be faced and healed. Have the courage to acknowledge and confront these newly emerging feelings. Look at them from all sides and try to determine where they first came from, when and how they were planted in your subconscious. Question the validity of these feelings. Often, they were based on your childhood imagination and are no more than illusions. They're not appropriate for your adult relationships, yet they persist. They're not based on reality, but they're powerful influences and can affect your relationships in major ways. They can even prevent a romantic relationship from manifesting. Have the courage to explore your beliefs and misconceptions about love. You may find that these emerging feelings are based not only on your limited perceptions, but also on what you actually saw or experienced as a child. Know that whatever your reality was then, it does not have to be your reality now. You are no longer that person. Examine these feelings and gain clarity on who you are and what is true for you regarding your relationships. In affirmation, John Holland offers, I examine my feelings about relationships and release what is no longer my truth. And in the position of grace, the Psychic Tarot Oracle offers number six, of emotions, memories of love. John Holland offers, you may find yourself walking down memory lane at this time. 
This nostalgic card could indicate that an old friend or acquaintance from the past may step back into your life, or it could even resurrect loving images from days gone by. Does this person, these happy forgotten moments, or those innocent childhood memories, encourage you to recall and welcome the energy of love? Is there a message or lesson from these fond recollections that could benefit you in your present life? The number six card relates to support, dedication, unity, and a need for balance in the areas of emotions and love. Your heart and soul are asking you not to dwell in the past but use the inspiration and joy from that time to assist you in the here and now. In support, the Psychic Tarot for the Heart offers the Eight of Physical, Dedicated Effort. John Holland offers Key Words, Work, Perseverance, skill, understanding. Creating and maintaining satisfying relationships takes effort and diligence. You've shown that you have what it takes and that you're dedicated. Through your life's experiences, you've learned some valuable interpersonal skills. Use these tools to continue to nurture your relationships with family, friends, and your partner. It's easy to lose focus, especially when situations become difficult. However, you have the integrity and discipline to continue to work at improving your relationships with others. Your efforts will be rewarded. This is a good time to learn more about the people you're currently in a relationship with. The more you understand a person's beliefs the easier it is to comprehend the motives behind his or her actions. This greater understanding will go far in fostering better communication. Learning new communication skills would also be useful at this time. You have what it takes to sustain positive, loving, supporting relationships. Keep up the good work. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for being willing to allow that your choices equal your life, that new growth is imminent, and that grace is always welcome. Be well. I will join you again tomorrow.